So each student selected a famous figure, researched their famous figure, summarized the figure's life. They worked on a little rough draft and edited their work. And then they made a little booklet over here that you're going to get to see. And then they worked on their little presentation. I want to thank you for coming. <coughs> it's a special time when your parents can take time to come. And they usually really love you at this age. <laughs> <laughs> but in 10 years. Yes. In 10 years. Okay, so our first person. What we're going to do is, come on, just stand. Okay. Right. Our, our person's going to stand and give uh, their little speech. Then I'm going to read the quote for them. And then I'm going to repeat their name. And we're going to show them our appreciation, the clapping. And Ms. Oscar is going to take a picture. Tears come from the heart and not from the brain. Leonardo da Vinci. Have you ever heard of the potato chip? I am George Crumb. I invented the potato chip. I was born on July 15, 1824. As a child, I liked to sell it. My greatest life achievement was to invent the potato chip and sell them. I died in New York on July 22nd, 1940. Now everyone can have a potato chip for a snack or chip with a meal every day. A crumb is bigger than a speck. George Crumb. <laughs> Perkins. 
Have you ever had Kool-Aid? I invented this popular drink as born on January 8th, 1889. As a child, I worked in the family grocery and tried something similar to Jell-O and decided I wanted to make something like it when I grew up. My biggest lifetime achievement is discovering a new drink called Kool-Aid. I created products called Honor Made, the most popular of which was Fruit Smack, a bottle concentrate. Families could turn the concentrate into a tasty beverage. I died on July 3rd, 1961. I am so happy that I made Kool-Aid. It has made children around the world happy. I can remember how I thought I would like to invent something like Jell-O, manufacture it, and sell it all over the country. Edwin Perkins. Read the last sentence together. I, I, I started the Ford Airplay Company. I died on April 7, 1947. Don't find fault, find remedy. Henry Ford.
movement was inventing the normal mode of ancestry. I died on June 8, 1893 in Charles River, Massachusetts. Now many people can get enjoyment from riding motorcycles, and they are used for police work too. Now, he didn't have a quote, but it says, pronounced by scientific men to be the most wonderful invention of modern times was his steamboat. This is Sylvester Howard Roper. Have you ever heard of the popsicles? I was born in Oakland, California in 1894. As a child, I made the popsicles when I was 11 years old. I made some sugary soda powder with water and I left it out overnight. It was a year for my and the next year grow. My greatest achievement was inventing the popsicle. I first got an popsicle and started selling it. I died in October 1918 and I was 89 years old. I am so glad that I made popsicles and brought happiness to kids everywhere. Expect the unknown, Frank Jefferson. Who stopped segregation? I did. I am Rosa Parks. Good voice, Rosa. Okay. I was born on February 4, 1913. When I was a 10 year old child, an older white boy threatened to hit me. I picked up a brick and dared him to try. My most famous achievement was receiving the Congressional. Congressional Gold Medal for improving leadership skills in the country and to, and to help young people learn about the Civil Rights Movement. I died on October 24, 2005. I'm so glad that I was a brave woman who stood up for equal rights. Stand for something or you will fall for anything.
Wright brothers named Orville and Wilbur. We were born in Dayton, Ohio. Wilbur Wright, April 16, 8, 1867, and Orville, October 19, 1871. In our younger days, we built a printing press and made our own bicycles. Our greatest achievement was inventing the first successful flying airplane. Our, our most famous plane ride flyer is fermented Dick's play, this play at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C., USA. Believe it or not, we did not go to college. Wilbur died in 1912 of a fever, and I, Oval, died in 1948. We are so proud of many people in history ride airplanes to choose that <coughs> for their favorite transportation. If we all work on the assumption that what is asserted as true is really true, there would be little hope of advance. Orville and Wilbur Wright. Have you ever heard of basketball? Thanks to me, a gymnast, now we have a game of basketball. I was born in Altamont, Canada, 1861. As a child, I played many games. My favorite game was Duck on a Rock. My, big, my greatest life achievement was inventing basketball. Now kids all around the world can play for fun and sports leagues. Be strong in body, clean in mind, lofty in ideas. James A. Naismith. September 13, 1857, in Huntersville, Pennsylvania. As a child, I worked on a farm. My biggest life achievement is trying and trying before I was successful. I died on October 13, 1945. The Hershey chocolate made so many kids and adults happy. Give them quality. That is the best kind of advertising. Milton Hershey.
amount of time to do the impossible. Walt Disney. Thank you. 